Election night 2016 is nearly upon us, and it's time for me to do my quadrennial prediction of how the night is going to turn out. Also, of course, my quadrennial opportunity to use the word quadrennial. So the uh, projections in the last uh, two elections um, have turned out to uh, have mixed fortunes. In uh, 2008, I expected the election to be called around 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Eastern, and that is in fact what happened. In 2012, I was a little less successful and in fact predicted that the election wouldn't be called until almost 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, there's a couple of possible reasons for this. One is that, uh, like Karl Rove uh, would say, uh, Ohio was called much, much, much too early. Uh, the other possibility is that the, the networks are calling the results a little bit earlier than they used to. Uh, I'm going to go with that assumption and uh, build the model this year based uh, solely on the results from 2012, uh, which as you can see, uh, there's a model here that uh, maps the margin of victory in each state to how many minutes it takes the networks to call the result. And we get a fairly good uh, line of fit, basically anything that's more than 15% uh, between the two candidates is going to be called pretty much immediately by the networks. And then there's an increasing time uh, that it takes them to call, uh, depending on how close the results are. For the projection, I used the uh, numbers from uh, the 538 website uh, at noon on Sunday. Uh, and I would note that this was a very, very close uh, race at this uh, point in time. So. Uh, uh, what we're really looking at here is a baseline. This is on the expectation that we have a very close race between uh, the two candidates. Uh, and as we go through the night, uh, if a candidate is doing better than my uh, timeline here, that probably means they're headed towards a victory. Uh, if they do worse than the timeline, then they may be headed towards defeat. So without further ado, 7 p.m. on election night, we get our first states uh, with polls closing and results called by the networks with Kentucky going for Donald Trump and Vermont going for Hillary Clinton uh, pretty much immediately in both cases. 7.30 uh, West Virginia is called for Donald Trump and we see in gold here there are six states which I think are going to be really very key states to watch as the night goes on. That's Indiana uh, and Ohio, uh, Virginia, North and South Carolina and Georgia. Uh, and as I say, these are the six states that I would be looking at as the night progresses to look when they're called. The earlier they're called for one candidate or the other, um, the better the news is for them. Eight o'clock, uh, one of the first really big moments of the night, and we start to get uh, some of the southern states uh, being uh, called for Donald Trump, some of the northeastern states called for Hillary Clinton. 805 is when my model predicts the first of those key states I was talking about will be called, and that is Indiana, uh, called for Donald Trump. If he's got that state in the bag at uh, this time of the night, uh, it's probably good news for him. Uh, if it's still too close to call, then he may be lagging behind uh, projections. 830, uh, Arkansas closes and is called immediately for Donald Trump, who's been building up a little bit of a lead here in the Electoral College, uh, and he extends that uh, at about 8.54 p.m. Uh, with a call in Tennessee, followed just a couple of minutes later, 8.55 p.m., with Rhode Island being called for Hillary Clinton. Now, 9 p.m. is one of the key moments in the whole night. Um, a whole bunch of states uh, close their polls at 9, and uh, the one that uh, I'll be looking at is Texas. Um, we're projecting that's going to be too close to call at that point of the night, but uh, New York and Illinois will both be called for Hillary Clinton almost immediately. Uh, and at this point in the evening, this is a good checkpoint, uh, I'm expecting that based on the states that will have been called at this point that will more or less have a tie in the Electoral College. Um, Clinton expected to have about 80 uh, Electoral College votes and Donald Trump 81 at this point in the night. Um, whichever one of them is in the lead, that's probably good news for them uh, at this point in the evening. And in fact, at 9.01, uh, 
Hillary Clinton expected to take the lead um, with a call in Maine, although the second congressional district in Maine uh, still expects it to be too close to call at that point in time. At 9.06, uh, Delaware is uh, projected to be called. And then at 9.09, one of the first big moments uh, of those um, uh, six key states that I was talking about with South Carolina expected to go for Donald Trump, who moves ahead in the Electoral College. And we're really seeing a period of the night where the two candidates are kind of trading the lead in the Electoral College as some of these uh, states are called. And indeed, at uh, 9.13, uh, New Jersey is a state that I expect to be called for Hillary Clinton to put her back in the lead and up to 100 Electoral College votes. Uh, a gap which Donald Trump closes at 9.14 with a call in Missouri. Um, that's a state that's been called very, very late in past years, so uh, an early call uh, for Trump uh, is obviously a good sign for him uh, in this uh, in this race. At 9.18, uh, Connecticut expected to be called for Hillary Clinton, and she moves ahead again and expands that lead with a call in Virginia at 9.53 Eastern. Again, this is a very important uh, state. Um, if she gets a call in Virginia earlier than this, that's probably a good sign for her. I'm also expecting uh, Kansas to be called um, around about this time. And at 9.55, uh, Georgia uh, expected to be called for Donald Trump. Again, key marker in uh, the election um, is uh, is when, when Georgia gets called. That's uh, a state which uh, Clinton could do particularly uh, well in um, compared to previous elections. And uh, uh, so if Trump is still not able to uh, put that in his column by about 10 p.m. Eastern, then um, that's probably a poor sign for him. At 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, we get a few more states uh, closing their polls. Uh, Montana and North Dakota uh, expected to be called immediately for uh, Donald Trump. But uh, the southern states, um, the likes of uh, Arizona, New Mexico, um, Nevada, not expected to be called yet. And also Utah, which uh, was Mitt Romney's best state in 2012 and expected to be too close to call at this point. At about 10.30, uh, Donald Trump expected to be called as the winner in Texas. Again, good marker of his progress, um, how well he uh, he does there. Um, if, if Texas is called quickly, that's a, a good sign for him. If it's still open at 11 p.m. Eastern, then that's obviously a pretty bad sign for him. And at 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, expecting California and Hawaii to be called immediately for Hillary Clinton and Idaho to be called for Donald Trump, who will eventually get uh, Utah, according to uh, current uh, polls, and that will almost put him level about 11.13 uh, p.m. Now, this is the moment at which the election was called in 2012, so we're actually, again, we're seeing uh, things per, you know turn out a little bit more slowly than they did uh, in previous years. Michigan expected to be called for Hillary Clinton at 11.17. And then at 11.36, Pennsylvania. Those are two very big calls for Clinton, uh, and uh, getting them before midnight is definitely a good sign for her on the night. New Mexico expected to be called at 11.39. And then Minnesota at 11.50. At this point, Clinton beginning to get um, quite close to the White House, but uh, still got just a little way to go. and. Uh, really big call for Donald Trump uh, just before midnight, uh, according to the model. Um, although that could be uh, out by you know fair amount either way with a, a state that's as close a, as as this. Um, but uh, uh, I expect Ohio will be called for Donald Trump, and it'll be probably called a, a little bit later in the evening than it was last time, and um, still with quite a few states um, without uh, results called. And indeed. Midnight will come and go without any more um, results. Alaska um, will have its polls closed there. And now uh, we have all of the states um, with their polls closed and we're just waiting for the counts to come in. At about five past midnight, the model says Washington will be called for Hillary Clinton. 
at uh, 1211, I'm projecting that Nebraska's remaining congressional district will be called for Donald Trump. He'll, he'll do a quick clean sweep in that state, um, but Wisconsin will be called for Hillary Clinton. 12.33, Arizona called for Donald Trump. And then there are three states uh, that, uh, according to this projection, will, will put Clinton over the line. Uh, and that is Colorado called at 12.43, New Hampshire called at 12.45, and then Oregon called at 12.47. I actually suspect Oregon may be called a little bit earlier um, than the other two, and, and really um, the three states that I would be looking out for at this stage of the evening to, to close out uh, the race um, for Clinton, if she's going to win, would be Nevada, Colorado, and New Hampshire. Uh, and um, according to the model, uh, this is the point at which uh, Hillary Clinton would uh, get over the line. Um, I've done the modeling. Um, if Clinton does a little bit better than the polls um, uh, were on Sunday, um, if she uh, wins by more like five points, we might see a slightly earlier night, but still after midnight Eastern, I think. If Donald Trump wins, um, which would mean the polls um, moving um, a few points, uh, in his direction, um, then I think we're going to be in for a very late night because we're looking at states like Nevada, Iowa, North Carolina, Florida, uh, New Hampshire, um, all being extremely close and um, we'll be waiting long into the night to, uh, to see what, uh, what finally happens. According to 538, as of Sunday, um, we were headed for an extremely close race. Um, essentially, New Hampshire is the difference between the two candidates, with Clinton winning 272 uh, Electoral College votes to Trump's 266. Um, as I say, what you just saw was probably a good guideline to, uh, to see which candidate is doing what on the night and uh, who is taking the lead. Whoever you're supporting, uh, I'm sure I don't need to tell you at this point to get out and vote um, and uh, to uh, be ready for a late night on Tuesday. I think after midnight, almost certainly um, uh, to me seems like um, what we uh, should expect unless one of the candidates really pulls something out of the bag at the last minute.